Yo, what's good guys? Cube here, back again for part two of a platinum randomizer nuzlocke. Part one, you guys match all expectations I maybe had for that uh, video. I was thinking maybe, you know, 50, 50 views, 50 people checked out. I would be pretty damn satisfied with that. Uh, yeah, try multiplying that by eight. That's how many people checked out as of time recording. That's insane. Uh, thanks everyone for the support in part one. That was actually kind of nuts. I was been anywhere close to that, so... Yeah, let me give you an update on where we are. Today's going to be a bit of a short episode though. Part 1 was longer because introduction to a Nuzlocke is typically longer for anybody with a Nuzlocke series. Part 2 is going to be in a shorter episode. I would like to think I can get it under 20 minutes, perhaps even under 15 minutes. Today we're going to go from the Energy of Life City, which we are now, up to beating the first gym, which is an Orbug City. Typically Rock, Rock type, usually about the randomized Nuzlocke, you have all sorts of random different mods. So, I trained the team up a little bit. Like I told you, it's going to use a rare candy cheat to go ahead and, uh, you know, get everything up to scratch. As you can see, I did get a rare candy cheat. I didn't replace any of my items. I'm not going to be selling these off to get easy money, by the way. These are just simply to help me during my uh, grinding session. So that's completely it. And as you guys saw from the last episode, yes, we had to go ahead and get Casper rather than keeping Turbine the tail that I had. Because literally, I was using the fast forward function like this. But like... I mean, you can see my step counter. Like, I was there for 20 minutes non stop doing well on counter after well on counter. I got everything in that encounter pool but the tail. So, it is what it is, you know. So, let's go Let's go on. So, we know that the rival's going to carry a starter throughout the game, which is a tail. So, there is that. There is most definitely that. Actually, I should even check the natures of our other mons last time. So, Bomb Shield's going to be more of a special attacker, I think. No, physical attacker, okay. Um, Dota nature, don't know. I think that's neutral. Uh, and push nature, I actually don't know. Special attack. Uh, and I did have flash fire, which was really, really good. I was hoping it would have flash fire. I'm not sure about his, if that's his only ability right now, but it's pretty decent. Ember, not the biggest move right now. Carrier, so I'm not even planning to use. You'll be a sack off if I need it. And it does have nightshade and disable. The day was actually not a bad move, you know, to have if it's a really powerful move in the field. Yeah, nightshade and nice, like early to mid game move, honestly, we'll take that. But nothing really on the power of an artillery that I've got right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually lead with Alexa and then just see what they throw out, and then I might have to swap them to artillery later on. So we got Rainbow Fire coming up right now against DJ, so let's just get on with Venom's then. Hey Cube, tell me you got a little tougher. Me, do you need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, I'll demonstrate to you. Let's get it. Oh, what do you have, DJ, for me? So we know you've got a tailor. What else do you have? A coughing poison type. Uh, okay. Yeah, honestly speaking, um, my tailor could probably deal both of you, like, literally right now. Okay, it's got... Well, I didn't poison weak to psychic, so I could literally swap the tailor and be like, yeah, done, though, and then just sweep both of the piss mods right now. I might over... But I'm starting to think, by the way, I might have over-leveled things a little bit too much in the grain session. I wanted to bring things up to about, um, you know, artillery's level, but I'm thinking that might have been a mistake. Because, um, you know... I think the gym lead was ace is 16, so I should have probably done my other mods to about 11 or 12. Rather than, like... Oh, they are 12, never mind. I'm um, 10 or 10 or, like, maybe 10 or 11 rather than 12, you know, so... I'll keep them in the future, because I don't want to over-level and make the series too easy, you know what I'm saying? So, I'll just go for a side beam. We're obviously going to outspeed at this level, you know? Double its level, it should be an old call, no problem. Yeah, there we go, boom. Lovely. And then they're gonna bring out the tail look that put that you carry your star throughout the playthrough. So we do we do know that he's gonna keep his entire team through his playthrough as he's added on. So we're gonna have to remember later on he's gonna have a swallow and he's gonna have a wheezing. So actually two really good matchups for me, but there's no like guarantees saying that oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna have the artillery later in the playthrough. You can literally just easily die at some point, so. Right, well, that's a waste of a turn, thank you, because I'm going to be using my special attack. And that should be the fight one. If it's like the first fight, it should just drop instantly. Yeah, he's dead. Done. What just happened? I lost? Yeah, again. You did indeed lose again. What do you mean I lost? Well, that's, that's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. The first thing you can do is take on the Orbex City Pokemon Gym. I'm going to toughen up for that totally. Alright, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, before... Oh yeah, I forgot. Poison. Gen 4 poison. Luckily, it's not Gen 3 poison where your mods can actually die from Gen 3 poison. I think it, like, when you get to 1 HP, they always just, like, shrug off the poison in this generation. At least with that. I'll heal up, and then we'll go back in the right and start to get some field items before heading over to Orbrook, say. 
Oh yeah, right through free technical and new area, so we can get an encounter. I just realized that by the way. So how many balls to be having is like at least ten. Right. Oh whoa, good for gonna check that. Let me stock up. Gotta be honest, guy, I've not really got a lot of money to buy with your call of Pokeball to that right now. I, I do gotta be honest with you guys. Um I'll buy yeah, I can't even buy ten. <laughs> um Honestly speaking, makes the hold of blow even slow moving. This is more like a trick room setup if it's like decreasing your speed. I'm not going to be using trick room really, so I'm actually just going to steal off a villain since I don't see a world where I'm actually going to get used out of that, so that will give us some money. That will allow us to buy 10 balls for now. Boom, premier ball, lovely. And you also give me repels, don't you? Oh no, just the heal. Oh, you're just right, you're the heal ball vendor, okay. No one can, oh, okay. So I came over here for this item. What's this randomized item? Ooh, actually, I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's not useful. It's a Nuzlocke. You can't revive people. <laughs> but, uh, nah, um, the reason why that's good is Max Revive actually do sell for a lock. You can't traditionally buy them. You have to find them, like, you know, by other means. From what I remember in Gen 4, so. And let's see what this guy has got. If he's got anything actually, you know, like challenging for us or like, uh, are we just gonna wipe the floor of them? Nudsleep. Okay, we can use Aurora Beam that oh, oh no, leave bro. Bye bye. And a Marrow. Yeah, side beam. Bye bye. There's the name over there. We'll get that a little bit later. But first, we're gonna challenge this guy. Oh, never mind. We're gonna ride two and three encounter. I completely forgot there was grass there. Oh, Tangela. I didn't say that I wanted this thing, didn't I? You know what? I'll tell you that. I will take that. I did say I wanted one of those because I think I can actually get a tank group on the team uh, via just normal means. I need to actually double check what's evolutionary method is. I can't remember what it is. Um, it's either a leaf stone or it's like trade evolution. If it's trade evolution, like I say, I turn and possibly was all, but we need to check the log file. But I, I think it'd be like level 38. I think most of the trade evils were like level 38 to get into tank growth, so. I wouldn't be half bad. Um, well, I'm going to swap into Alexa here because it's very low level. Don't want to use a, you know, a super good move. Let's just use like Smog. Shouldn't do too much damage. Did more damage than I thought I was going to do, I can't lie. Um, gonna restore HP though, isn't it? Hmm, okay. I'll just throw a ball at it and see what we're, what we're dealing with here. No, okay. Hmm. Cheeky bugger. Okay, I'll use one Leer. The thing is, restoring its HP, so there's no real easy way to like, you know, um, damage it. I'll go back into Casper. Let's just use Nightshade. Oh, right, I'm being dumb. Yeah, Nightshade is like, all right. Yeah, I thought Nightshade did the amount of damage equal to your opponent's level, not your own level. I got that confused. That's my bad. That's a misplay. That's a skill issue in my part. Okay. Fair enough. I really want to tangle through. God damn it. That's a waste of an account. Naturally, it's a waste of an account. All right, what do you have, youngster Dallas? A oh, Wingull. Oh, I feel bad for you because you are about to get savings. Yeah, there we go. And I, if I'm not mistaken, right? Pelipper pre Jane sex. Isn't even really that good anyway. I remember what generation pillar parts are to become really good for like rain teams. But I know it's like James 6 around a bit there, right? Alright, what does this guy have? Oh, sweet child. Sweet child. I feel bad for you having a, a lone metapod. If it was a butter free, it wouldn't even be half bad. Alright, I know you have like five ones. You can give me a lot of experience, so let's go. I'm not going to buy literally every trainer, by the way, just on the earlier ones, because there's not really a lot of trainers. We might want to get some prize money so we can buy things at the shop, you know? Oh, no, and I actually quite like to run. Mainly because I like Ross Lass a lot, but uh, yeah. And there's a female one actually talking about that. I didn't even notice that there. That's kind of funny. Love Pony. Oh, proper close favorite man. If you know, you know. Nice. Everything's so low level. I think I definitely over leveled a little bit. Well, technically no, because like, tell if you got these levels via just battling stuff, the other guy definitely have over leveled. So I'll try not to do that later in the series. Guys, apologies. It's my first randomizer nuzlocke. Well, 
on this channel. I've done them before, but I've never really completed one because every time I've done one, it's been a race and people always end up like waiting out before like, the second jump. I've not, never probably had a real go at another slot before. Okay, that's a bit more challenging, you can see. Uh, that is pure psychic, I believe. So, pure psychic, we had like a dark, well, we do have a dark type and no dark type moves right now, so there's our best base is keeping up with Calorie. At this level, I can't imagine you have too many good moves to hit me with, so let's just honestly go with Psybeam. I don't think you resist Psychic, believe it or not. I could be wrong though. No, you do, I heard the sound. I still think it's our base option because it's stab at the minute, you know what I mean? Same, same how they should be resisted. Hmm, weird. Weird that when we use Psybeam, it's like resisted, but considering we're also a Psychic type, our hit is resisted, because I know Psychic isn't good against, good against war, so that's just weird. Bizarre. Okay, so there is another tree here, but I want to go all the way over here because there's an item here. Could have had a course law. Honestly, I'm kind of happy we didn't get a car now. That thing pre Jenny is kind of like eh. A nugget. Ooh, that's good. That's money. That is hard. Well, that's a legendary. That's most definitely a legendary. You're telling me because I got shaped, man, bro. Remember I was telling you about the Nuzlocke race? Yeah, I literally got a shaman in this route as well during that race. Yeah, I got a massive or random items just before and I got a shaman on that run. No joke. That's kind of crazy how I just foreshadowed all of that. It looks like I'm scripting things together. Like I'm just like, you know, deliberately making things happen like that. But no, it's not just happening by chance. Right, what do you have, like Madeline Swallow? Talk about looking to the future because obviously that's what the rival's gonna have. Peck, I just think they're gonna be on me one hat from there. Not with Peck, anyway. Aurora Beam. Am I not one shot? Okay, it does. It does. It does. I was wondering if I did because it's not stab, you know. Level 60, Marine's honestly killing it. Need to get some bear moves and some of the other mods, though, can't lie. Yeah, we get the HM for a rocks match, but we can't use it until after we beat the first gym kind of thing, so yeah. Oh, so this is technically a new area, so we get an encounter here. Yeah, it's a new encounter. It's, um... Yeah, we can't go north of here. This is our encounter for Orberg Gate, by the way. Let's see what it is. Oh, I will take that. Oh, I will most definitely take that. Oh, yeah. We don't really have a good grass type either. That is huge. Huge, by the way. A level 3 that everybody call it Hoyland Stars. That is a huge pickup we can get it, though. So. Alright, let's just, you know, be normal about this. Um, in actuality, like, it's only level 5. That thing level 12. What is its stat spread? 25. You know what? For some reason, even though the Teddy here, so... Oh yeah, it, it scratches normal stab too, isn't it? So even more power. Why don't I just try to balls this thing and see how it goes, first of all, you know what I mean? So it feels like I might actually want to hit anything I try to go for right now, can't lie. Uh, I didn't even show you what that really not a good sign. Okay. Right then. Let's get in the ball tree, go off. No? Alright. Realistically, what can I hit it with without it like dying in one hit? Oh, I could do that. Bombshell could be my at all, but it's... Level 5, it doesn't get a grass type move. If they in Jane 6, we used to have a grass type move. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have Vine Whip yet or whatever grass type move he gets, you know? Let's just land Super Sonic and try and get him to confuse himself, you know? What we'll do is we'll keep switching out to Tankier Mon so he can keep hitting himself with confusion, you know? One, two, three. Let's go! That's a huge pickup, by the way. That is genuinely a huge pickup. I actually like using Trigo quite a lot and, you know, playthroughs normally, so we will take that. I already actually, for once, actually have a nickname for this thing. There is another uh, video game IP that's long been forgotten at this point, but honestly, but it's probably the closest thing to this that I can think of, and it's a male one too, so we're going to call it Gex. Remember the old, if you remember the old series Gex, I'll probably put like a screenshot of it up on screen now. And you know, if you know, you know. That one most definitely be added to the team and would have called a level after this recording session, by the way. Not super over leveled, but leveled up to a fair point, you know what I mean? I think I leveled up the rest of these get a bit too much, you know. Gloom. Okay, uh 
aura beam. Oh, I should have used flamethrower, right? Yeah, that would make more sense. Drapion, poison, Psybeam. Oh, right, you're dark type. Yeah, good point. Uh, let's use flamethrower and just mail you anyway. That's haha lol. And what do you have? A Bastiodon. You are rock steel type. So, yeah, I, I kind of hate you for stab, so let's go with flamethrower. And after at least get one of you, we can see what I was gonna say. I can't make a fourteen to better put on fighting types right now. That's fine. We know you use flame pro. Comes off. That's not effective. You're different. Oh right, because rock resist uh, fire. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was gonna say you're definitely weak to that because you're steel type fan. I know that for a fact because Byron, uh, the six gem in this game, literally used you your ace. Realistically, for steel for that bastion, you wouldn't want you wouldn't fight on ground types. This guy's gonna show the round, by the way. Uh, fun fact, and Diamond probably literally calls you a noob for not having a single gym badge to change that in Platinum, by the way, so... Yeah, we're gonna speed it up because we need to go talk to uh, DJ real quick. Tell us that the gym leader has went to the Orberg mine. So, let's go ahead and actually, you know, go find Rourke. And there's actually a couple of items we can get over here that'll be randomized, so let's see what we get. A lychee berry. Whenever we get the berry, it's on, it's such a pain in the ass. And a bright powder. Bright powder is the thing to boost bug type moves, right? Or accuracy or something. Lowers opponent's accuracy. Okay, I just remember it being used in bug types quite a lot, so that's actually quite a decent um item to have in that stuff, you know. So yeah. Alright, I guess I'll just go ahead and end on the Orberg Mine. So we were in Orberg Gate, Orberg City, and now Orberg Mines. This is a new encounter area, guys. So if we get an encounter, which we probably will, uh it means we can catch her, you know. Power lanes. Ooh, is that one of the EV boosting aims? It is. Okay. Uh, honestly, we'd probably just sell it all for money then. And our encounter in Orbic Mine is going to be Spoink. Okay. Well, we had a good, really good encounter. Now we have had, a, now we have kind of a, you know, bad encounter. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, there's that. Um, I think at this level. Oh wait, is it? Hmm. I can't tell. Are you normal type or are you psychic type? No, I just land. Okay. Look at say one night shade. You should be able to survive that. Throw a ball at you. One, two, three. Really, bro? There you go. All right, cool. Female Spoink. Uh, I really don't know what to call you. I don't know what you're even a reference to of the whole. I could be really unoriginal to call you Pearl because you got Pearl in your head. But I'm not going to do it. I'm trying to think of a different female name. What's the first female name that comes to my head? Um, Actually, I was going to call it something, but I don't think a friend of mine would appreciate me calling a certain uh, female name with, with the letter L. So, uh, yeah, let's just go with a different name. Um... I really don't know. Don't know ask me why, but the song here that Delilah just came into my head, so that's what we're gonna go with, alright? I don't even know if I can spell it right as well. Delilah. I probably not even spell that right, but yeah, you know what? We're gonna go with Delilah, alright? You could have had. Ooh, why not? Does that thing have Shadow Tag on it right now? Probably not, doesn't it? Yeah, shadow tag. Our first instance is shadow tag. Okay. Um, okay, uh, we should be able to, be able to just outspeed in one shot, is what I would say. So let's go with side beam. That thing has way more defense than I thought. We're the bad thing with using my recall. Uh yeah, my starter was just gone. I should still kill it from this range. Yeah, okay, kill okay, we're safe. Alright, cool. <laughs> I was close. Okay, dust tops. Um flint bro. Should realistically one shot, but you're fully evolved one, so okay. Yeah. that. And a Goldine Goldine. Alright. Uh Psybeam, because you, you should just be pure water, right, if I'm not mistaken, because you're basically a koi fish. Yeah, let's go. We could have bubble in here too, that'd be nuts having two grass stars like that. Alright, that's what it is. And proc. Oh, isn't that like a use for something? 
Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Extended duration of the brain dance. Yeah, that makes sense. Can you get the damp rock and you've got the heat rock? Yeah. All right, what do you have? A light new one. Ooh, certain someone's favorite mon. If you know, you know. Actually, I know that they watched part one of the dunk lock. That's luck because they told me already. So, uh, yeah. That's your favorite mon. Unfortunately, we couldn't add it to the team. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, my arena's getting way too many levels for my liking. You're actually over level for this first gym. You're level 18. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, Rock. This is the person we had to come find, by the way, if you can't tell. You think you hadn't moved Rock's match, a boulder blocking your way can be demolished like that. Alright, yeah, I can go back to the gym so I can fight you, thank you. Like, I know I've only been really been using Marina on, on what they call it, the party right now, but that's simply just because of like how good she is and how good of a move that she's got. Once like the other mons start to get like a decent you know moves as well, like especially the Hounder and the Hound Doom and all that, you'll see me use a, a few more mons a bit more often, right? Alright, let's just enter the gym and just get this over and done with, right? You know what I'm saying? Unless I have like a Wobbuffet up here or something like that, we should probably be fine with this gym with this level right, honestly. Let's get the potion. Really? I thought you used to get a potion from this guy. Gen 4. Huh. Weird. Maybe it's in later gens. Maybe it's Gen 5 and plus. Sorry to get a potion from the guy at the gym. Alright, let's see what this guy has got. I do want the XP and the price money, which is why I'm fighting the optional trainers and stuff. Well, one thing is slack off. Okay, it's not slack king, so we're actually alright here. This, I think we'd have a crazy attack stat. I'll just go with Sybeam. Alright, we're here, nice. Parasect, bug, poison type, I think. So let's just honestly go with a flamethrower then. And you're going to, nice. And a hero cross. Ooh, you like your bug types, don't you? And there's some decent bug types as well, if I may say so myself, especially the hero cross, anyway. And gone. All right, here we go. First gym of the series. Welcome, this is the Yorbrook Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. But I'm one... I can't speak today. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock types, not in a randomized you ain't. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. I will need to see the toughness of Pokemon the battle with you. Let's get it, Rourke. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 Not bad lead for you, I gotta be honest. However, if you bring in that poison type, does mean that you are weak to me and you can't be with the water type, water side of things either, so. I said you are faster than me, wow. Yeah, I've definitely over leveled, over leveled for this. I didn't actually, like, you know, use any rare candies on Octillery, though. All the levels is got in it, like, you know, natural levels. All the other mods I have, yeah, they were rare counted up, so I don't really know what to think, you know what I mean? Because, like, I've got a lot of levels in this thing very quick, quickly. And I haven't even fought every optional trainer, too, because there was a two north of Jubilee that I never faced before the little cave going to Flora Romatown. It was Honic, nice, missed. I mean, nice. Also, I might have speed up, speed up there. I was just so casually talking about something that I completely forgot if I used the speed up button or not. Doing important fights like that, I will not be using speed up. For obvious reasons. Bubble beam. Ooh, nice. That's an upgrade of a water gun, by the way, because that's 65 base power over 40. Yeah, and it's both special type moves. We will take that. Obviously, later on, the main move that I want to tell you to learn is water type would be Octazooka, I think it's called. So, yeah. Manetric. Ooh, that could be a problem for us, actually. An electric type, huh? Okay, um, that's actually a little bit concerning. I'm actually gonna go into Asper, yeah. This is the much damage it does, because I'm kind of worried it has Thunder Shock at this level. If it's this charge, we're in trouble, by the way. Let's tell you that right now. We're gonna go for Nightshade. We're gonna go for Leer. I think it's more for special attacker anyway, because I've used my and like, and like and like Emerald and Auras before, so I don't really think it gets too many like, you know, uh, physical attack and electric moves. I'm going to leave it again, so minus two defense. This will drop it under half HP though, so that's good. I'm going to have to switch into something else, because minus two defense might be a little bit um, bad on this right now, I can't lie. Um, 
Who's got tanky physical defense? Are you a water type? It's the issue. Not really anybody, if we're being honest. Um, yeah, that's ain't great. I can't lie. Um, you do have 27 defense. So eat. Do you almost double defense? So even with minus two, I'd be willing to, to keep you in for one more nightshade even. Potion, okay. Nightshade. We've wasted rock second potion now. So I don't think you have any more for the fight. T-Wave. That actually makes sense where you have that this level, I gotta be honest. Nightshade. Uh-huh. I just want to see what's gonna hit me with. It keeps leering. I'm really scared of this leer. That's minus three defense. I do think I'd be able to take, you know, one, like, electrotype move. And the AI has not went for an electrotype move yet with Dusko being in. So even if I swap up to Marina, I don't think the AI would opt into an electrotype move here. I think it would opt into leer. Harrell. Okay, now that's what I'm scared of. I know you get physical type moves. Um, I'm just going to say just going to risk us here. We're just going to go for Bubble Beam. Yeah, Bubble, bubble Beam. Tackle. How much? Okay, not much. If that was like, if that was like Spark or something, I would have been very concerned right there. All right, Bubble Beam, nice. I don't even know if my nature gets Spark. I'm pretty sure it's a special attacker, right? So it gets discharged and all that later on. And Shell Gun is your final mod, which is Bug something. Is it Bug Steel, I think? I'm pretty sure it's Bug Steel. Wait, no. Shell Gun's that. I was thinking of the little, like, you know what I was thinking of? I was thinking of the thing that evolved into Excel Gore in Kalos. That's what I was thinking of. I'm like, I just thought in my head, wait, it literally can't be in the Drendermaster. It's not a Gen 6 plus game. That's fine. Uh, so that's part Dragon, I believe. Um, let's just use Saibi Mana, honestly. I don't see this thing doing too much damage to me unless it's got Dragon Rage. Headbutt, okay, that's fine. Because obviously we've done 40 HP, and I was like, crap, okay. Um, should out speed, and then there we go. Rook should be defeated, I think. And there we are. And that is officially one gym down of the Nuzlocke. Well, that can't be my buffed up Pokemon, yep. They are defeated, Rook, my guy. This is embarrassing, I went and lost that trainer who didn't have a single badge. Well, that's tough. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you a gym badge. Then you beat me the leader. Here's your official Pokemon League call badge. Love a little jingle every time, man. Having a call badge means your Pokemon can now use that and move rocks match instead of battle. You should also take this too. I randomized TM. Let's see what this is. I think this is usually a stealth rock, though. Yeah. So let's see if you can learn this then. First of all, let's see what, the, the, what it is. So it is... Focus Blast. Only thing... Actually, I don't even think that's a two-turn move. The only thing is... Oh, you know what? It could be crazy, right? So that's Focus Blast, right? It can reduce special defense. What if I... What if I... It's got low accuracy, right? But what about the Bright Powder that we got earlier? Oh, it's opponent's accuracy. I'm thinking of the Bright... I'm thinking of a different type of powder. I can't remember what it is, but like... It buffs your accuracy up. I can't remember what the name name of, of, is off the top of my head, but I know that it's been it's used in competitive sometimes where like uh, you want your really powerful low accuracy move and it brings up to something like 85 accuracy. All right, before ending off the episode, I do want to go ahead and get one more image to the north of here on Route 207. So we get an encounter here, we get an encounter here, you know what I'm saying? Not yet. A rock incense. I've got a lot of the incenses today, aren't I? Well, not today, but generally in the playthrough. That could actually be useful, so I'll keep on to that for now. We get an account on the way back, we get an account on the way back. Is that legendary? It's one of the single legendaries because I recognize the theme. Dark Cry. Jesus Christ. Okay. Level 7 Dark Cry. Okay. Alright. Alright. Let's see who it is. Let's go into Casper. What does it have at this level anyway? Ominous went, oh, I might have just killed off uh, Duskull, I can't lie. Doesn't actually do that much damage, I'm actually gonna look it. Uh, let's go with Nightshade. Disable, okay, that's fine. Let's just use Nightshade. That should drop it under half, I think, right? Mm, okay, we can do one more. Ominous went, unless this thing crits, I don't think it did a lot of damage to me. Even if it crits, I think I survived. 
Definitely got to switch out though, just got to hope it doesn't have Pursuit because they're the Dark type, you know? That's in perfect range actually, holy crap. Uh, I'll go over to Octillery. No Pursuit? Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Ominous Wind. Well, we should take that a lot better, yeah, we take that a lot better. Nah. Alright, fair enough. I really would have liked a Dark Fire on my team. I think it's a sick legendary. But, or Mephico rather, but. Alright, let's just get the XP for this thing, I suppose. What could we have gotten in this route? We could have got God, alright. I would have rather have taken God, I'm not gonna lie. And if you guys don't get the meme, just type into Google uh, Bidoof God meme and you'll come up with the results of it, okay? Eee, access to Sim Potions now, not bad, not bad. Might actually want to take two of these just because they might be very crucial healing items at certain like, important fights, but we'll sit with regular potions for now, of course, you know? Or with like... Five potions. Well, let's, let's just go with like another... Ten. Yeah. Got a low enough level right now. Oh, we do have some things to sell, actually. Let me do that. We got the Nugget and that didn't we? Yeah, 5k, boom. And the power lines because we're not really going to go ahead and uh, use EV boost names in this playthrough. 1500 for that. All right, cool. Hello, DJ. Whoops, Skip, you got the gym badge, huh? In terms of city, it's the next place we generally give the way badges. Yep, it is. So yeah, I went to Rent 207, we can't go there without a bicycle. Well, I mean, you technically can because we got an encounter there, but you can't go up the slopes, what you mean. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. Yeah, especially when there's wild dark crowds out there, man. So I'm going back to Jubilee City. Next up, the Eternal City Gym Badge. 10 seconds before I dash. 9. Ah, who's got time account? And that's actually going to do it for today's episode. All right. We're going to save there. I'm going to level up Trico to around about level 11 or 12 uh, off camera with the rare candies and stuff. And then we will continue on from there. So if you did enjoy today's episode of the Platinum Random by the Nuzlocke, uh, you know what to do based on part one after you uh, Based on how much you, you guys the point part one, which I still cannot believe how insane that was. Be sure to leave a like in the video. Comment. If you got anything, a comment. Subscribe if you're new, because we are on the road to 1,000 subs by the end of the year. And yes, I will see you guys in part three, where I believe we should be doing a very important fight at the Valley Wonderworks near Flora Roma Town. This is Cube signing out. Have a good one. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.